Hello, this is Daniel Please, my name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a very popular mod called Sodium. This is a fabric mod that actually allows you to sometimes double your total FPS in Minecraft without having to do anything but just installing the mod. The mod just optimizes the way Minecraft runs apparently, and for some people the results are just enormous. They, they can go from like 30 to 150 FPS without even changing any settings by just installing Sodium. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how to install Sodium. Now, like I said, Sodium is a fabric mod and that means you cannot use it with Forge, so you have to install fabric. So to get started, of course, we're gonna install fabric. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually open up your browser. You don't have to do all of this. Um, you can actually use the links down in the description somewhere down there, there will be some links the links that I'm actually gonna be using and showing you in this video so you don't have to look them up yourself. You can just use the description for that. So a quick Google search for Fabric Mod Loader will actually give you the two most important links already. That is fabricmc.net and actually Fabric API because almost every single Fabric Mod also requires Fabric API. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just use these two links. Like I said, they'll also be in the description so you don't have to look them up yourself. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually go over to the Fabric Loader uh, right over there. It actually comes as an installer, which is extremely helpful. Um, for safety reasons, I would just say go with the .exe because if the .jar files don't work on your computer, you're gonna have to do extra things like uh, use jar fix to fix your jar files. So actually just download the installer for windows.exe. And all we're gonna do is actually click it like that. You are gonna get a, um, a message, it's actually a warning that is also stated right here underneath the download buttons. It will say that um, they cannot fix Windows Smart Screen from, you know, seeing this app as an unrecognized and potentially suspicious app. What you're going to want to do, because you only are given the option don't run this file, you're going to have to click more information and actually click run anyway. And that will make it run anyway. It may actually take some time, but that's perfectly fine. Just over here, you can see that we're now actually in the Fabric installer, and it's super simple because it's already an installer. So you're going to want to make sure it says client here because installing the server isn't going to do much for you. Um, and then Minecraft version. Be careful here. Minecraft Sodium is actually going to be released very, very soon. They're working on it but it's not been released yet. So for now, I'm actually gonna be using 1.16.1, but do note that in a few days from me publishing this tutorial, 1.16.2 sodium might actually already be there. So in that case, you're gonna to wanna to go with 1.16.2. For now, I have to select this because sodium isn't available for the newest version. So what you're gonna do here is make sure this is all set to the latest version. Um, create profile, you want it to create a profile, so just leave that tick right there. It's just ready to install, so just click install. And there you go, it's actually done within a second, which is great. And now you are prompted with a message that says pretty much what I already told you. Many mods also require you to put Fabric API into the mods folder, so that's what we're gonna be doing as well. And so now after installing Fabric, you can actually go into your Minecraft launcher and there should be a new profile in this menu called Fabric Loader 1.16.1. That's why we checked that little thing that said create profile because that will actually create a profile for us so we don't have to do that ourselves, which is really convenient. So actually we're getting there. Um, what we're gonna be doing now is downloading and installing Fabric API as well as Sodium because their installation process is very similar if not the exact same. Now do note that for Fabric API, if you actually installed Fabric 1.16.1, that also means that you need Fabric API with this version and not the latest version, which is 1.16.2. To actually go and find 1.16.1, you gotta go over to the page and click Files, and then scroll down a little bit. And then over here, you can see that there's a recommended release. For me, it's the third one that says 1.16.1. So I'm gonna be downloading that one instead of the latest one. You're gonna to have to wait for a few seconds and then it's automatically going to download Fabric API. You're gonna get a warning because it's a .jar file and they can potentially be harmful for your computer, but if you actually use the links that I provided you with in the description, then there's not gonna be an issue there and you can just click keep. 
Now we're actually going to be doing the exact same for sodium. Um, like I said, a link will be down in the description so you don't have to look this up yourself. You're going to go over to the sodium mod page over here on CurseForge, um, scroll all the way down and just download this file right here. Once again, you're going to have to wait for a few seconds and then after that it's going to be automatically downloaded. And you will once again get this warning that I told you about earlier. You can just click keep if you use the exact same link and everything looked the exact same for you as it did for me. So to make things easier, I'm actually going to be dragging the mods over to our desktop. So it's really easy to drag them into the folder that we're going to be going to right now. So now it is finally time to go into the actual mods folder in Minecraft and then install these mods. And then we're good to go and actually launch Minecraft and use these mods. So to get there, you actually want to go over to your search bar, type in percent app data percent and hit enter. And then you're going to see a, uh, a bunch of folders here, but you're actually going to look for dot Minecraft and then you're going to see a mods folder. If it's not there, I'm going to delete this just for the sake of this tutorial. And you're just going to create a new folder called mods, all lowercase. Click enter and it will be created right there. Now you can double click it. You're inside the mods folder. What you're going to want to do is drag both fabric API and sodium fabric right there into the mods folder. Now make sure you're actually in dot Minecraft mods and that's where they are that's the only right place they are supposed to be so that's actually it this is the moment of truth we're going to be launching minecraft and check out these mods and see if they actually worked so of course you're going to have to select the fabric loader they're not going to work with the normal microphone 16.2 that's right we're actually in minecraft right now with fabric and sodium in the background so one thing i forgot to mention is that for sodium you do not even need fabric api but for pretty much any other mod that works with fabric um, you will need Fabric API. So I just thought it was very convenient to actually show you um, to install Fabric API as well. Most people just install Fabric with Fabric API by default. That's why. So um, to check whether we're actually using Fabric or if you're actually using Fabric, you can go into F3. Just hit F3 on your keyboard and in the top left it will say Minecraft 1.16 and then after that it will say Fabric Loader. Now of course you cannot see whether you're actually using sodium. Well, you can look at the FPS, but for me they're capped to VSync, which is really, really annoying. So what you're going to want to do is go over to Options, Video Settings, and now here's the difference. This is a very different video menu, right? It doesn't look like this by default. So first off, I'm actually going to be disabling VSync and then apply that. And now I'm going to go into, you know, quality and I can change whatever I want. And now over here under advanced, um, there's actually some settings that, you know, you should better just leave alone. It's these settings that are just the normal video settings. And over here, what I'm going to do is actually click close, done and go back. And look at that. We're actually on 440 FPS. That's not bad. Now I have to admit that of course normally I also get a lot of FPS because my system is pretty good, but sodium definitely helps. So if this actually worked for you, then be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, which I believe you do, then of course hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And then without further ado, I will of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya!